I think that McCutcheon Hayes thing's real interesting. Sorry, Donardo. Because from what I remember early in McCutcheon's career, he did love to go the other way a lot. And then all of a sudden that power unlocked with him yep. and he was able to pull the baseball. So that's something I haven't really thought about. And What's well, interesting? It's interesting because um, coming up, coming up, uh, it, it, we'll call it when we get to when you get to double A as a as a as a right hand hitter, especially. Well, the ballpark in Altoona is not is built specifically for right handers, so you're you're aiming at a at a short porch in left field and a deep spot in right center field. You get to uh, you get to to Altoona, you get to Indianapolis. The ballpark is essentially set up like PNC Park. So I remember Andrew, when Andrew and I were coming up, we both, especially as right-handed hitters, we were both pull right-handed hitters. We were, we were using the left center field gap, you know, call it center field to, to left field line more so than anything else. And all of a sudden we get to the big leagues and, or, or really AAA for that matter. And Andrew more so than me, because he was, he's obviously a, 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 a full-time right-handed hitter. He would get so upset when he would hit a ball 408, you know, whatever that is, 408 feet to left center field and the PNC notch and, and it would be an out. And he'd be like, man, I, can't, I couldn't get that. I couldn't get that ball anymore. And there's not anything that probably made the, 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 the right handed hitters, at least at that time, more upset than hitting a ball 400, 400 plus feet to left center field and it being an out. And I remember Andrew be, just kind of being like, you know what? Forget this. I'm not hitting ball left center anymore. I'm using that right center field gap because when you, when late May comes around and the warm warm air starts to come in, the ball just flies to right center field. And he saw us right us lefties. He would get so mad at us lefties that would just like just drop balls over the Clemente wall, which I I, I made a made a living off of. Um, and it, it was amazing to watch him because he worked hard to do that, and that's not an easy thing to do. I mean, he came up as really a pool right handed hitter. And he was like, you know what? I'm going to take it from left center field to the right field line. And not only is that difficult to do, but it helps you in your approach. And as I mentioned, when you get into two strike approaches, you're getting into, into deep into a bats. That off field gap approach helps you not only stay on off speed, just a tick longer and stay off of it, but it's going to help you make more contact. It's going to help you foul off those fastballs at the top of the zone. You're going to get those jam shots over the middle, the, the second baseman, the middle infielder, a big parts of the game. So, I see that I see that same approach with with Key Brian, and I'm sure they're going to have conversations about it. But that next step for for me and what Andrew and I learned too, and this is something that uh, Ryan Domit taught me that I actually pass along to to Josh Bell. He goes, the very first time I got up there, you know, we're all we were all switch hitters too. He goes. You see that right field wall, and you know, of course, you're getting 70 plus 70 percent of your bats left handed. He goes, You need to learn how to use that wall. And I said, and I said, What do you mean, Dewey? And he goes, He goes, We'll talk about it, we'll talk about it more as time goes along. And my approach left handed went from set right center field to left center field. And he's like, get up on the plate as far as you can and you feel comfortable. Basically, swing the gate open, get the bat hound out, and try to use that right field wall. And I looked at him and I was like, you got to be kidding me. Like, I'm going to be rolling over ground balls all over the place trying to get to that place. And he's like, trust me, you, you will thank me when it's all said and done. And, and true words couldn't have been spoken. And by the time I, I got later on in my career and Josh Bell was coming up, I said the same thing. I said, dude, listen, whatever you do, learn to pull the ball in the air left handed in this ballpark and in this division. Cincinnati, Chicago, Milwaukee, all these good hitting places. St. Louis is a little bit. So you learn to, in my opinion, you learn, I learned to pull the ball the right way. If somebody like Keith Bryan that uses that, that used the whole field really well now, and people are going, where is, where is this power? Where is this power? It's, it's coming. In my opinion, it's coming. And what I mean by that is he's going to start to get to a place where he's seen, he's seen the same pitchers over and over again. He's seen the St. Louis staff. A lot of times these hitters like Andrew and like Keith Bryan that stay inside the ball so much, the book is this, pound them in, pound them in, pound them in, pound them in, try to get them to, to, to back up and then push them away. Andrew dealt with that for his entire career up until this point. He played the Cincinnati Reds. It was undoubtedly Andrew was going to get hit once a game or two or three times a series because they were coming in. That's just the way it was. You guys also hit a lot of their guys. Oh, of course. <laughs> I still got bruises on my butt to prove it. But, 
Andrew learned Andrew learned when to pick times to swing the gate open, get the bat head out, and then he learned times when to back back it down and use a big part of field. I think this is where Key Brian is going to go. I think this is where this next step is going to go because when I watch him and I sit there and I'm watching certain parts of the game and I'm thinking to myself, all right, he's got a he's got a three run count here. We got a sinker ball on the mound. This guy's gonna he's gonna try to come in. He's gonna try to get in on his hands. Get the bat head out. Even if you foul a ball off on the barrel down the left field line, get that bat head out because there's that's the only way you're gonna learn how to pull the ball the right way on the barrel and then eventually in the air. So you know, I know we talked about him quite a bit, and that goes across the board to a lot of these guys. But that was one thing that I really learned was pull the ball, pulling the ball the right way. And of course, everybody wants to hit the ball in the air. Uh, slugging all this stuff, but in PNC Park in particular, if you're left-handed, you can get away with a lot of stuff by hitting the ball in the air to right field. You make me feel a lot better about Brian Hayes. Thank you. Sure.